Hello, what is up guys? Today we're going to go over a practice test uh, for FBLA Introduction to Financial Math. This test I'm pretty sure is geared more towards the objective test, um, meaning it is slightly, it is easier than what you would receive at the state and the national levels. Anyways, over here we have a cake recipe. It requires four eggs, half pound flour, half pound sugar, and two ready made edible flours. How much will it cost to make two cakes? So this is what we're finding, how much will it cost to make two cakes? Use the following data. Eggs equals $1 per dozen. Flour is 2.5 per pound. Sugar is 4.5 per pound. And flowers are 5 cents each. So this sounds like a pretty simple problem. Um, well, if a cake requires four eggs, so we know, so let's first find the price of one cake, right? We know all of this information about the cake. So let's find the price of one cake. So one cake equals... If I could spell cake right, that would be a bit helpful. Four eggs. Well, if 12 eggs is $1, each egg, it, well, if 12, because a one dozen eggs is 12, 12 eggs is a dollar, which would mean that each egg is going to be one divided by uh, three. So that's 0 0.3 with a line on top. So let's just say 0 0.33. That would give us a pretty close um, estimate considering that these go up to the hundreds place. Um, and then half pound flour, so flour is 2.5 per pound, meaning half a pound is 1.25, which is 2.5 divided by 2. One fourth pound sugar, so it's sugar is 4.5 per pound, so one fourth pound is just 4.5 over 4. Um, so that's 1.125. Um, to my knowledge, uh, FBLA exams also currently allow you to use a calculator for their tests. So uh, you can have one on you. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to change that rule later or something like that, but for now, at least... That's how it's working. And flowers are five cents each. So if we need two, we'd have to pay plus 0 0.1. So now if we do all of this math, we get 0 0.33. Let's make it 0 0.333. I'll add an extra three just to make sure that we have a very close estimate. Plus 1.25, plus 1.125, plus 0 0.1. Okay, so the price of one cake is equal to two... 0.808 now we have to times it by 2 which is 5.616 so this is 5.616 now we can round it to 5.61 here the reason why it's 0.6 is you know we added that extra 0.33 now we'll go on to our next problem if 80 percent is greater than 0 0.75 then well what this problem is it's asking us to convert a percent to a fraction we have to convert our percent to a fraction. So 80% as a fraction is 4 fifth. It's 4 fifth, right? Because 80% is 80 over 100, right? Now, if we simplify this, we can simplify it to 4 over 5. If you're not, um, if you don't understand how I could come to that conclusion, then I encourage that you watch our videos. Uh, we have videos on this where we convert uh, percents to um, where we convert um, between decimals, percents, and fractions. And now 0 0.75 is a fraction. 0 0.75 is 75 over 100, which we can simplify in lowest terms to 3 over 4 because we can divide by 25 uh, from the top and from the bottom. Divide by 25. Uh, I hope that division sign was a bit clear. Um, anyway, so now we have 80%. 80% equals 4 over 5. And we have 0 0.75 equals 3 over 4. So if we have 80% is greater than 0 0.75, then we would be saying 4 fifth, 4 fifth and 3 fourths. So it's between these two right now. And we'd be saying it is larger because of this larger than sign. 80% is greater. So D. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for uh, watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll go over questions uh, three, four, and more in uh, the next part. Uh, I encourage that you first try them by yourself, and then um, in part two, I will explain how to solve them. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.